Yo, yeah, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you some PvP tips. This video is mostly for beginners, but I mean, advanced players can learn from this too. But yeah, uh, let's get into it. And so, first thing I like to do is, at least before I go in, make sure I get a full kit on. You know, you never want to run out, like, unless you don't have a the best helmet under, under Alton. Well, the best helmet that's more accessible is the ZSH, which this guy has on right here, actually. It's a... Uh, Protects you, it helps you to not get one tapped as easily, and yeah. Second, you always want to make sure you have extra ammo. So I like to buy at least two stacks of uh, AK ammo before I go out. If I have a drum bag, even without it, I think it's good. Uh, for scopes, I feel like it's mostly preference. Me, I don't use the hollow. You can. I used to use it, but I, ha I use iron sights now. So. If you guys want to use iron size, whatever, I would not use like the red dot, it's not that good, and I feel like the OPK is not that good either. That's just my opinion, but whatever you guys want to use, feel free. Next, you always obviously always want to have hands in. So, I'm here, you can buy, sell. I like to buy like four stacks survival kit you do not need bandages so you can stop buying them because survival kit stops bleeding bandages take up an extra slot that you can be using for like med kits and stuff and usually you don't bleed out in fights usually you, if you're in the middle of a fight you usually just want to pop a med kit so you don't really have time for popping like bandages and stuff like that so yeah this, another thing is do not carry backpacks if you were gonna go out do not carry a backpack. It puts it at a big disadvantage for you because, because like the backpack, let me see, can I buy one here? Uh I cannot, but oh yes I can here. I'm gonna buy this one just for to show you guys. Alright. Backpacks, they make you slow, a lot slower. If you look down the bottom, my speed is 15.4 right now. This one on. Always buy the links. 16.2. It's almost that's like almost like one stud more. But um it's good because like even you might not think it is, but look, look how slow this is. This gives you one row of space. You can wear it. It takes away zero speed. And if you get a kill, say you, you run out. You kill somebody, they have a lot of gear. Pick up their backpack and you extract. You come back, you sell it, and you put this thing back on. You always, it gives you a row of space for whatever you need. And yeah. So another tip I wanted to talk about was jumping your corners. This can be very crucial in a fight. You, all, you don't ever want to pick a corner like this. Never. Never want to do this. Always. This is one thing. This is one of the things I do, which helps me win most of my fights. Because you'll see a lot of people. If I'm over here, I, they get they shoot me a couple times. I'm over here, I heal. You, you like... To, one thing you should try and learn how to do is to... Like, bait shots and to pre-check your corners. You never want to just pick a corner and be like, Oh, let me see. What if someone's just sitting there? Best thing to do is like this. Just look. You can look in the side. So like if someone's over here. If I want to look in the room. Okay. So okay, one guy behind the desk. I'm not peeking. I'm not going like this. Oh, and I get lasered. And then the guy pushes me, I'm probably dead. So first check. And then you can jump like this. Jump. Jumping corners. You never want again. Never walk out like this. Or just like or run. Jump. Jump. You can move around. Look. Jump. Boom. Look. Like that. So yeah. Jump corners. Pre-check the corners. You never want to like again. Just like jump in there and not check. Because you could get lasered. So that's one thing. If you want to win fights, this can help you win so many fights. It's crazy. Like uh another pvp tip for new players is quick it's a quick tip that anybody can use this is pretty simple strafing while you're shooting you never want to shoot just go forward never go forward while you're shooting it makes it really easy when someone's going forward look see this guy he's going left to right it's kind of harder to shoot him same thing if you're shooting you don't want to go like this you don't want to just hold w on your keyboard it makes it well, what does that do you're just doing nothing for yourself you're making yourself easy to track 
like right here if someone's right here you don't want to just move right it's if they're waiting for you oh wow he's just going like that you want to make sure you're always moving left to right while you're shooting left right left right i'm moving like this a d a d a d you can even throw some jumps in there a d jump 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 Another tip I have for you guys is knowing what to loot in the middle of a fight. You don't want to be greedy with loot. If you kill somebody, let's say you're fighting three people, you kill two or even one, and you have good loot, you don't want to go and loot that guy in the middle of the fight unless you need something like heals. Maybe sometimes you can pick up their gun, but don't start looting them. I see a lot of the time people are in the middle of a fight. They kill one dude and they all their whole team jumps on the loot because you're greedy but then they all die because they just get shot from behind or something because they're not paying attention loot afterwards do not loot in the middle of your fights it's huge and another thing is if you are fresh or you just don't have that much loot let's say you pick up a random ak or you're just fresh i'll show a clip in a second but you want to know what to loot if there is three guys in a building and you find a body that has a full Anton kit and an AK and some meds, that's all you need. Sometimes you don't even need the meds. If you know someone's going to be coming at you, just loot the AK. Sometimes you can't even loot the rest, but loot the AK, loot the full Anton kit, and then get ready. I'll show up a clip right here. It's a kettle. It's a kettle. It's a kettle. What you come from? The last thing I want to talk about for now would be changing your binds. You don't you want to be able to loot quickly. So whatever you feel comfortable with, this is my binds. Crouch is on C, quick loot is on left shift. So basically I just have to hold because I'm always running. So I already get it to a body, I'm just clicking, basically, because I'm already holding left shift. I don't need to do anything else. I can just... Another big thing with your binds is you don't want to have crouch on control. Because if it's on control, then in the middle of a fight, you have to take your, your hand off of shift, your pinky, and that's very, very bad. So I always have it on C, so I can crouch, run crouch run crouch run it's kind of harder to do that when it's on control so it just it's always good to have your hand on shift just in case crouching someone comes boom you can instantly run instantly run like this is me crouched and shifting look at this it looks weird but you yeah you can tell uh toggle visor i have it on n reload obviously r interact is e that's just what i like it's next to my w so you just click loot but yeah Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys learned something from this. Use everything I told you in this video. It can help you win so many more fights. I'll probably make a part two of this. I just wanted to get something out quick before I go on vacation. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Peace.